chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6. I better get a little help in this throat this morning. Joshua chapter 6, starting in verse number 1. He said, Now Jericho Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went in and none came out. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. Turn over if you would to John chapter 14. John chapter 14 and verse number 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. You may be seated in the house of the Lord this morning. If the Lord will help us just a few minutes this morning, I believe the Lord's got something for us, and if he'll just help me a few minutes to get out what I think I need to say, I'm going to give you an opportunity to come to the altar this morning and get in touch with him today. But what, what are you worried about? What you worried about this morning? He said here in the first verse when he was talking to Joshua, he said, now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went, in, went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, he said, look and see, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. He told Joshua before he went any further, he said, look, look at here, boy. I have given you this city. I have given this unto you. In, as I've done a little study and a little digging out a little bit, I found out that Jericho was the main fortress. It was the starting place that he had to conquer. It said if Joshua couldn't conquer Jericho, that his leadership would be dissolved. Jericho was a very pivotal point in this battle. Said it was a strong fortress to the whole eastern side. And said Joshua had to take Jericho or his leadership would be questioned. His leadership would be destroyed. Then Joshua would not have got the job done. So it was very vital and important unto Joshua that this battle would be won. But God told him, said, See, I have given it unto thine hand. He went ahead and told him before he ever got started, said, You've got Jericho. I have given it up unto you. I told you we need to die. That we serve a God that owns a grass and the dirt that is pouring on it and the cattle that's eating on it. I want you to know tonight that Jericho belonged to God from the very start. And he told him, he said, I give it unto you already. I mean, I ain't never even started to fight. We know as the story goes. And he ordered Joshua. You read those verses, we can go right on down to about 20 and 21, and you can read the layout as we all know 
of what took place. And he instructed Joshua in a certain place and in a certain way and a certain order to do everything. He laid it out just exactly how he wanted to line up. But he also told him, take that ark with you. You're going to need your power. You're going to need the ark. He lined them up in the way that he wanted them. Joshua had to do exactly in the order of what God laid out. That's exactly what he had to do. But I want you to realize that before he ever started, that God had already told him that the city was yours, that you didn't have to have no worry, you didn't have to have no fear. He said, I've already given that to you. What you worried about? What you worried about? Joshua, what? What you worried about? Well, Joshua took and he'd done everything and instructed everybody right down the line. And I believe, had they shouted the first day, Walt would still be standing today. I believe if they marched seven times on the first day, he'd still be standing today. But I believe that even though that Joshua knew going into the battle that God had done spoke to him and told him you go win, I believe he still had to follow orders. Hallelujah. I believe if me and you, I told a man the other day, I said, you're not going to heaven uh, if you're not saved. Uh, I said, if you're saved, uh, you go. Uh, I said, but I also believe uh, that while you live in here uh, on this earth uh, and you're saved, uh, I said, you will live uh, for God uh, and you will live uh, in the order uh, that God said uh, for you to live. Uh, church, we're going to heaven uh, if you're saved, uh, but there's a plan. Uh, there's a plan. He told him, he said, I don't give it to you, Joshua. He said, just look and see what I've put in your hand. And look and see what I've done. Without a doubt, I feel that Joshua might have had some reservations uh, about what was going to take place uh, or what might be going to happen. Uh, but he said, see, uh, he said, look uh, at what I've given you. Uh, it's already done uh, if you'll do it uh, like I told you to. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I preached to you the other night about worrying. Uh, I'm a victim myself. Uh, but God, by the grace of God, I'm going to get better. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm doing everything I can uh, to get better with it. Uh, but I know uh, what the scripture says. Uh, I believe uh, what the scripture says. Uh, Joshua said, I'm looking uh, at a great fortress. Uh, I'm looking uh, at a big city. Uh, I'm looking at uh, a place that's shut up tight. Uh, we can't get out uh, and we can't get in. Uh, but God said, uh, I don't give it to you uh, if you'll just do uh, what I said. Uh, has God told you? I'll give it to you if you'll just do what I said. Let's fast forward. We know they shout. We know they walk. We know they jump. We know the walls come down. We know they followed the order. We know they went through the plane. We know they done everything and they said many things and more that you can preach. In that passage of scripture. Right. And let's fast forward to John. The first verse of chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. We just got through singing that song. It said I won't see him face to face. And the next part says... And I believe. Well done, he'll say. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I believe. Well done, yeah. 
he'll say, why would I believe that he's going to say, well done? Let not your heart be troubled. If you what? If you believe in him, believe also in me. Hallelujah. But how you not to hear about if you believe, if you believe, if you can live the first verse of chapter 14. If you'll say that not, this will heart be troubled. Yet believe in God and believe also in me. If I can believe and I can live. Joshua had a few things going on too. I'm thinking that he didn't just tell everybody, okay, I'll come on, we'll march one time, but put this in the table. Mm -hmm. I thought about one of the instructions you can go back and read is to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said. Go back and read. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't lie to you. Come on. Yeah, right. I said, Lord. Mm -hmm. I said, help us, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Help us, Jesus, to keep the church people's mouth shut yes, yes. while we're trying to win the battle. Yes. Amen. Woo -woo! Come on. Oh, God, that's it. Help us, Jesus, to keep our mouth shut and let you fight the fight. I said, help us, Jesus, to keep our mouth shut and stay in line. Help us, Jesus, to keep our mouth shut and do what the leaders tell us when we're supposed to. I said, help us, Jesus. Amen. If my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. He said, if it wasn't true, I never told you in the first place. Mm -hmm. Joshua said, you sure we're going to take care of him? Mm -hmm. That ain't what he said. He never said that. Mm -hmm. You go back and read it. Joshua never said that. Mm -mm. Lord, he said, you know it's a fortress. Mm -hmm. we, we can't get out. If we could get in, we can't get out. It's a fortress. He told him in the third verse, he said, it's shut up. It's shut up tight. I believe he let it go right straight out. There ain't nothing you can do with it. Come on. But yet and still, we want to worry and get all dismayed over everything. We want to get upset. We want to get all fall out of the boat. 
because things didn't go our way. He said, let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house or many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, that you may be also. I ask you again, what have you got to worry about? What have you got to be upset? you so distraught about Come on. that thing that you so just made about I'd love to move on to something else Come on. but like the preacher said we ain't got this first Come on. we gotta get this first Come on. Yeah. Yeah. that thing yeah. that you just can't get past Come on. Come on. Yeah. That, that battle that you have fought till you both look at each other and go well here we go again. Yeah. David said his cousin hooked him every day when he got off school bus. <laughs> they said, "What well, nothing I can do about it. He said, I knew it was coming. In the school, we'd get off the bus. He'd get me around and say, come on. we go ahead and hook you before we go up to the house. Hey, we everybody take close to each other. Daddy get off the bus. Man, we'll hook him. They'd go to the house, you know. <laughs> Just the ongoing saga. They said every day, he whooped him. Every, just every day, every day. When they even got ready, he just whooped him. You see it. They will come on here. They will go again. Right. Right. We done, we done. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on now. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to move on here. We done, we done fought this battle. Come on. We done fought this battle till we know how it looked. We can see it coming. Yes. We know it's approaching. We're getting ready because it ain't the first time that we've been there. Yes. It ain't the first time that we fought the same battle that we've been in. So we get ready and we pretty well know we lost the last time. Daddy said, I knew when we got, he said, I knew it was going to whoop me. He was two years old and daddy, daddy couldn't handle him. He was just way more of a man than he was. And he just knew every time he got there, was just a whoop him. We see it. We lost last time. Here it comes again. So we're just trying to tread water. We just try not to get hurt too bad. We don't want to get busted up too bad. If we can just protect ourselves enough that we can remain alive, that we can stay afloat, we get by this time. Maybe he'll get tired of whooping on me after a while, and we'll quit this. Therefore, we confront it with the same battle again. A promise. A promise is a declaration of assurance. A promise is a declaration of assurance that one will do a particular thing in that and that particular thing will happen. Did you get that? A promise is a declaration of assurance. Means it's going to help you assure that this is going to happen. Said right. so a particular thing, a particular thing will happen. There's two ways to look at that. Here it comes again. I'm getting ready to lose. 
Oh, here it comes again. I'm assured that I can win. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, let not your heart be troubled. If you'll just believe in me, hallelujah, I promise you, that particular thing, we're going to win. I promise you, huh? that particular thing, huh? we're going to overcome. Huh? I promise you huh? that this battle huh? is not too great. Come on, Jamie, get on the piano. Huh? I promise that'll make him a soldier huh? if you wrote my name. Come on. Huh? Huh? He said this particular thing, huh? you are assured huh? that you will uh, win. Huh? You are assured huh? that you can overcome. Huh? You are assured huh? that this promise huh? that God given to you, he said, I wonder what went away. Huh? He said, I wonder what went away. Huh? If you couldn't come where I'm at, huh? I don't understand huh? what we worry about. Huh? My God laid it out. Huh? He gave us a promise. Huh? The same thing God done to Joshua. Huh? He said, we can wait. Huh? We can overcome. Huh? This whole world huh? all we worry about. But daddy got off the bus one day. And the man picked on his little brother and started whooping on him. Then he said, hold it. You better have to take up for little brother. You know how it is. Then he said, hold it. He said, leave him alone now. He said, don't mess with him. He looked at Daddy, he said, oh, he said, you want some of it too, huh? He said, you want some more of it? Daddy said, I made up in my mind. He said, not today. Right. Woo! Right. Daddy said, not today. Right. Woo! Daddy said, not today. Right. Daddy said, I stepped up down there. Daddy said he took his vest off uh, like he was in a cowboy show. Uh, the boy was getting ready. Uh, and Daddy said, when I laid into him, uh, a man stopped in a pickup uh, and got me off of him. Hallelujah. Uh, pulled me off of him. Uh, and Daddy said the bad part was uh, that was the last time uh, that I ever got to whoop him. Uh, he never tried me. Uh, not another day. Uh, not another day. Uh, if you'll come on. If you'll come on. You a promise, you can win the battle. God made you a promise, you can.